What's up YouTube? So today we are going to jailbreak an Apple TV 4K on I, or tvOS 11.0. I just want to say that uh, this jailbreak doesn't include anything beyond uh, SSH access, so for most users it's not going to be anything useful. Uh, but this is still really useful uh, for if you're a more advanced user, like this is awesome to be able to modify your TV and do a whole bunch of things. So I'll be doing more videos on that later on. I just want to show you guys the process. You will need a developer Apple ID for this, so the uh, $99 developer program. For now, maybe Cydia Impactor will be updated in the future. We'll see how that works out. Anyways, to do this, you're going to need to download the jailbreak, so make sure you download it from the official website here. You'll need Xcode. We'll need an application called iOS App Signer. And make sure that uh, you've also added your Apple um, TV 4K in the organizer, just like this. And you've also uh, signed it for your uh, developer ID, obviously, just on the Apple ID or Apple developer program here. So the first thing we need to do is create a new project in Xcode. Now we need to create a tvOS project and just a single view app. Now we need to name this and then make sure you just choose your team name and a location to do this. Perfect, so the first thing you need to do and you need to make sure is that your team is selected and that these signing certificates and everything look good. As long as that does, that should have generated the ticket that we need to use in this application here. So now that we've downloaded the jailbreak app, which this one here isn't gonna work, we need to drag the path here, choose your developer ID and then choose the tvOS team. You should see the tvOS provision right there. Go start. And then you'll want to give this a different name. Allow it to build the IPA. And now we'll open up Xcode again. So now we have a signed IPA right here. Now the reason we created this project was to create this signing provision right here. So we want to go back into our devices and simulators. And here we want to add an application. You can actually drag and drop it. Now from here it's going to install to your Apple TV and we are actually going to jump now over to the Apple TV. Mine failed here so if it fails for you try again. All right guys, after a lot of struggling there, I was finally able to install the jailbreak. Now, the reason I had some issues is I actually have never done any tvOS development. I didn't have any certificates set up for it. Basically, I had to build a blank application, run that application, then re-sign using those certificates that were generated. Uh, so that when I actually installed the Libri TV um, application that it would work. We're finished with the computer now. Uh, the rest of the jailbreak takes place on the Apple TV. So let's jump right in and check this out. 
So as you can see here, this is the same UI we had for the last jailbreak, just cleaned up a little bit with a very simple click me. Um, I've been reading that this jailbreak can take a little while, so you just click click me and then just sit, chillax, give it a minute or two, don't worry about it. Uh, this will finally block that uh, nuisance update uh, that keeps coming up and I'm sure there'll be a bunch of other things too that uh, come up with it. You can now access this device um, over SSH uh, using the terminal so we'll jump back to the computer now. is at 1111031 and we want to go yes and the password will be alpine now we need to temporary or temporarily run this here and there's the root directory And here's all the applications. So you can see that we're at a jailbroken level. And the kernel. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you get to jailbreak your Apple TV just like I've done here to mine. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What's really cool about this, and not a lot of people realize, is the more and more we have these Apple TV jailbreaks, the more likely we are to see uh, some projects take use of them and we'll start getting some really cool projects out of it so even though it lacks like Cydia or um, a package installer right now I'm sure that somebody out there is in the works thinking about this and realizing the potential and will begin to release stuff for the Apple TV for 4k so it's cool uh, keep your jailbreak don't lose it don't give it up thanks for watching guys we'll see you again next time cheers